With the homeward journey of Nigerian pilgrims from Saudi Arabia now underway, the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, NACON, says it is determined to conclude the journey on time. NACON Commissioner of Operations, Al Haj Abdullah Modubasali, gave the assurance at a press briefing in Makkah. 65,601 pilgrims were brought, along with 950 officials, and that, inshallah, we hope to conclude the airlift within record time, especially in view of the fact that there are no mitigating issues like getting a visa to go back to Nigeria or getting BTA, some of the things that cause challenges for us on our way into the kingdom for Hajj. Alhamdulillah, so far, uh, everything has been put in place and we are confident Isnillah, we will achieve our targeted plan. He said the airlines are expected to complete their operations in the first week of October. The commissioner warned pilgrims against exceeding the 32 kilogram luggage and 8 kilogram handbag limit prescribed for air travelers. Doing otherwise, he said, will attract extra charges. He also advised the pilgrims to avoid prohibited items. The passengers or pilgrims have been warned to avoid carrying unnecessary things and to avoid carrying dangerous and harmful uh, objects or substances in their luggage. The airlift of Nigerian pilgrims back home commenced on the 7th of this month with more than 400 pilgrims from the Federal Capital Territory. In the meantime, Nakon officials have been visiting pilgrims in their residences to enlighten them on luggage handling so as to ensure compliance with the 32 kilogram luggage limit. The Nigerian Consular General, Ambassador Mohammed Sani, on behalf of Nakon Chairman, Barstabila Mukhtar, led a set of officials while Nakon Commissioner of Policy, Personnel, Management and Finance, Al Haji Yusuf Adebayo, and that of Operations, Al Haji Abdullah Salem Modibu, headed other teams during the campaign. I know all of us are interested now, after performing the Hajj, to go back home safely. And uh, we want to go back with our luggage. Please, I know the Kuala State Pilgrims Welfare Board officials have already informed you. I only want to reiterate it that please don't go, don't carry any bag that contains over 32 kg. Ambassador Mohammed Sani then urged pilgrims to pray for Nigeria and its leaders at different levels of governance. He also called on them not to carry Zamzam water while returning, saying that consignments of the water have already been delivered to respective states, where arrangements have been made for collection as soon as they arrive in Nigeria. In their separate remarks, officials of the states visited said they are educating their pilgrims on the problems associated with carrying excess luggage. The weighing of the luggage is done at designated points near the residences of the pilgrims before they are taken to the airport. Pilgrims interviewed said they are complying with the luggage rules and also promising not to do anything against the laws of the Saudi Arabia. I was there, they weighed it as my present and it was 32. 32 kg, I'm sure. The hand is, they haven't weighed it yet, but I'm sure it will be 8 kg. Nima dinnan na zo na auna kaya na na samu awa na ashirin da bakwai kuma in Allah ya yadda nai kokari nai abun da zan yi ki kiyaye na kiyaye Habibi nuru satafil madina Muhammad In another development 
Ambassador Mohamed Sani and other Nakon board members have visited Nakon medical facilities in Hijra and Kudai in Mecca. The visit is to assess the performance of staff in Nakon clinics in terms of meeting the medical needs of Nigerian pilgrims. <laughs> During the visit, Ambassador Mohammed San addressed patients on why government is setting up such facilities in different centers. There are a lot of improvements in terms of medical facilities. The doctors are available, the nurses, and the pharmacy. Because it's a prime concern of the federal government of Nigeria to ensure that every Nigerian, wherever he is, is well and hearty. And those of you now who are here, we wish you quick and early recovery. He also interacted with the medical personnel on how they carried out their daily assignments. Now the number of uh, patients is are reducing reduced. because they are taken to the advice given to them. <laughs> Over time during the Hajj, the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, Nakan, has made it a habit to engage stakeholders in management in a series of meetings. The aim is to review plans and take the necessary actions and to re-strategize for the future. Important among these meetings are the pre- and post-Arafat meetings, which provide a forum for all stakeholders to discuss and tackle issues affecting all aspects of the Hajj. On Tuesday, the 5th of September 2017, stakeholders gathered for yet another post-Arafat meeting. The event took place in al Raqiya Hotel, Mecca. The meeting reflected on the following issues. Feeding Hadaya and tent services at Muna and Arafat, Tradudia and Jamarat, medical matters, accommodation in Medina and Mecca, brief by Ulama. Others are aviation matters, submission by the airliners, submission by the cargo operators, comments by representatives of states, pilgrims, welfare boards, agencies or commissions, and comments from the two operators. Nakan Commissioner of Policy, again, Personnel Management and, and Finance, al Haji Yusuf Adebayo, says early preparations made by the Commission help it to secure accommodation in Markazia in Medina. We start early last year by sourcing for accommodations in Medina. It will be interesting to note that out of all nations that perform at this year, it's only in Nigeria that stay in Makasia 100%. Other countries share their accommodation. Some are 70 outside, white 30 inside Makasia. For us to maintain this, we have to sustain the achievement we have recorded for 2017 Hajj. Being the coordinator of the feeding committee, Al Haji Adebayo disclosed that a template was developed to allow for the effective monitoring of caterers. The committee appraised the quality of the food, the quantity of the food, timely delivery, hygiene of the kitchen, hygiene of the eating area, provision for special diet needs, HDB and diabetes, provisions of desert, fruit, water, and juices, sample of the tools that we tend to use. We gave all this to all the committee. Whenever they got to, this, they will sign this committee for us to do proper reconciliation in an event, meal is not served, we we'll refer the money back to the intended presidents when they get back home. In his presentation, Nakan Commissioner of Operations, Al Haji Abdullahi Modi Bosale, said the over 50,000 Nigerian pilgrims that registered with the states were all airlifted to Saudi Arabia, though with some challenges. For a number of factors which have been already mentioned, the inward out uh, airlift was to a certain extent characterized by delays and loss of flight schedules due to what we already know. However, 
this time around as we return to Nigeria, we do not expect as much challenges as we experience on our way coming in because we, know have, we do not have any longer the need to obtain visas to return home nor are we going to expect payments of BTS and so on and so forth. But nevertheless, cooperation and proactive attitude is required from all of us to make our return hitch free. Um, on medical issues, head of the national medical team, Dr. Ibrahim Kana, briefed the gathering on the health status of Nigerian pilgrims and what was done to address some health challenges during the period. In terms of comparison between 2016 and 2017, this year also 32,000 plus, last year also 30,000 plus. Next slide. Um, in terms of mortality, uh, we'll see 14, 15, we're still trying to confirm the 15th mortality. And um, we had two deliveries and um, two 48 observations and one miscarriage. And of course, we referred over one of To compare to the previous, last year, uh, we had two mortalities at the same time, exactly five days post Arafat. Exactly five days post Arafat, we had two mortalities. And on this statistics as it were. Next slide, please. Uh, the miscarriage actually from Lagos State. Next slide. Two deliveries from Kogi and Nasarawa State, despite the fact that they were hiding it, especially in Nasarawa State, we were able to trade and get the detail of the, the delivery. Dr. Ibrahim Kana also disclosed we that the team is planning to go into partnership with World Health Organization and Saudi Arabia for better service delivery. We are already collaborating with the WHO Center for Mass Gathering Medicine so they are in Riyadh. And this year we are conducting two surveys. As a matter of fact, we have also started developing a protocol because of the high number of cough and Qatar. We are developing a protocol now. We are working on it. Hopefully by next year we should be able to conclude and begin to take samples. The aim is to see how we can introduce vaccine against cough and Qatar during Hajj. But for this year, the first set of surveys that we are conducting is on health-related illnesses and health promotion during Hajj. Dr. Aliu Tanko's presentation focused on matters of Tradudia and Jamara. He stressed the need for more enlightenment campaign because some pilgrims did not comply with the Jamarat timing. Yes, uh, I must say, uh, part of the Pelua occurred as part, I mean, as, as uh, maybe because some states were unable to even educate their pilgrims on the rights because it is this time around that we noticed the greatest, I mean, a new phenomena, a new, a new issue altogether, new, completely new. That is the issue of going to, going to climb the Jabal Rahman. Representatives from State Pilgrims Board, airliners, ulama, and tour operators also made their submissions at the meeting. Honestly, all the arrangements in the Mashair in uh, Medina were superb, superb, <laughs> to the extent that my uh, uh, Amirul Hajj, even though he did not go to Medina at the earlier time, Yet, the experience of the pilgrims who were in Medina attested to the fact that the National Hajj Commission has made a very excellent preparation for the pilgrims in Medina. On the, all, uh, all in all, like I said, we have nothing but to say thank you to the National Hajj Commission for the 2017 outing. The airline's slot is published everywhere. It is not hidden. If you understand it very well, each Mwasasa has it, each Gaka base has it, Ministry of Arch has it, other government agencies, security, everybody in this kingdom has the number. They know it's coming out of the kingdom, immigration, everybody. So you on this side, don't wait. Because most of the states officials wait. Oh, it's next tomorrow. There is no next tomorrow. Today, for a flood that is going on the edge, you must ensure that your pilgrim baggage has been collected. Secondly, you must ensure that you have gone to Dr. Tanko to get the release. I repeat, you must start working 72 hours. So that the day they say you are going to the airport, you are not liable. 
because it is already there in the system. We have so far a challenge of limited number of flight, availability of the flight to carry our pilgrims. With the intervention of the Nakon, by the grace of Allah, all our pilgrims were able to come to Hajj. Secondly, we are also so far a challenge on inadequate arrangement of 10 in Mina and Arfa. But Alhamdulillah, by the intervention of the chairman, an immediate arrangement was made to create a place for us as intervention for, for our pilgrims. And uh, when we were to move to the Mashair, we held a meeting and divided the ulama into different groups. One group was sent to tent A, that is the VIP tent. Another group, very few of us, went to the Nakon tent. But majority of the ulama were sent to various states to join hands with the ulama of the states in preaching to the uh, pilgrims in the tents in the Mashaib. And Alhamdulillah, we got the cooperation of the coordinator of uh, Makkah, who wrote a letter and signed, wrote letters and signed to all the states that we are going to send the ulama, introducing them and even itemizing the activities which they are going to carry out. Before the submissions, Dignitaries at the event addressed the gathering on a number of issues related to Hajj management. The Minister of State Foreign Affairs, Hajja Khadija Bukhar Abba, represented by Ambassador Halli Rusodangi, expressed satisfaction with the improvement gained in Hajj exercise. It is important to note that the strenuous efforts on the permission to respond to the needs of all pilgrims, particularly on the arrangements put in place for accommodation in Medina, Makkah, Mina, and Arafat. I personally observed significant improvements on what obtained in the previous years. This has greatly rekindled my hope in the permission that the same feed would be reflected next year with improvements in some noticed areas of default such as accommodation and transportation. At this juncture, I would commend the leadership of the permission and other stakeholders for this great effort and crave their indulgence to not rest on their own but to Dedicate, dedicate themselves in ensuring that the chain of achievements is unbroken in the return leg of pilgrims back home to Nigeria. While addressing participants, Nigerian Shade the Affair, Ambassador Salis Umar urged stakeholders to do their best to ensure that Nigerian pilgrims get back home at the right time. My advice to the Hajj Commission and the state had commissions, I mean, the state begins with their boards, is to organize a timely and orderly return of our pilgrims back home so that at least all of us are happy that we have finished successfully the performance of our Hajj rituals. Now, what remains is for us to be able to get back home good time. We also call on them to do more in pilgrims' education, saying that the conduct of pilgrims is key to the success of Hajj. In their separate remarks, Chairman, Senate Committee on Foreign Affairs, Senator Mansourat Sumonu, and the Chairman, House Committee on Nigeria-Saudi Interparliamentary Friendship and Hajj Affairs, Al-Haji Abdullah Salami, recognized the achievements recorded by Nakan in Hajj Affairs. The Senate leadership and the Senate as a whole, plus the House of Reps, have asked us to look into everything. I think both feeding, accommodation, medical. But so far, I think uh, we should try as much as possible to tell the truth, and it's, it is nothing but the truth and the fact is there has been a large improvement 
between 2016 and 2017 had. The chairman, you should use your wisdom as you have been using it to bring more modernization and improvement in Hajj affairs. Because uh, as we witnessed this year, there are a lot of improvement and a lot, a lot of uh, success, but nevertheless, there is need for you, chairman, and the members of your commission and stakeholders to put more effort to see that you improve, particularly in those areas that we experienced some challenges this year. The chairman of the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, Nakan, Barista Abdullahi Mukhtar, appreciates Saudi government for the support it accorded Nigeria during the Hajj. The Saudi government deserve our commendation and appreciation for the way and manner they coordinate the Mashair activities this year. We congratulate King Salman, the Crown Prince, the Minister of Hajj, the Muassasa, and all the Saudi officials involved in the management of the Mashair activities and indeed the entire Hajj family that comes from all over the world for the success recorded within this very critical period of Hajj. He said Nakon is considering taking over the management of accommodation in Mecca just as it does in Medina. We have to consider taking accommodation in Mecca collectively as a nation, not individual states. By so doing, we'll move closer to Haram bigger hotels with large capacity and we'll use our strength as a bargaining force. We have to do that in the interest of our pilgrims and in the interest of the nation. And when we get to that stage, it's not a question of this is my service provider, that is not my service provider. We will work together in the same way we are doing in Medina. If we go to secure accommodation in Medina, now we don't go alone. We carry everybody along. The vote of thanks for the post Arafat meeting was given by the Nigerian Consular General, Ambassador Muhammad Saini. I would like to inform you that presently, at the behest of the Chairman National Hajj Commission, there is great improvement in communication and cooperation between the National Hajj Commission and the two Nigerian diplomatic missions in Saudi Arabia, which was a radical departure from the recent past. Indeed, all the meetings, starting from the meeting with the Minister of Hajj and uh, Umrah of Saudi Arabia, with the Muassasas, with Gaka, and all establishments pertaining organization of Hajj were done together with the Consulate General of Nigeria, Jeddah, and the Embassy of Nigeria, Riyadh. Today on our feedback segment, we have greetings from pilgrims in Saudi Arabia to their loved ones in Nigeria. My greetings goes to my husband, uh, Muhammad Sahid Adulai. Secondly, to my mother, Elijah Rihanna Anovi. My all greet to my all my friends. Do you support you help me assist me to become Halaja Fatima this year 2015 17? Okay, I do Okay, I do Okay, I do I do I do I do Okay, I do I do Okay, I do I do I do Okay, I do I do I do Okay, I do I do I do Olomoja <laughs>
ان الحمد والنعمه لك الملك لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك ان الحمد والنعمه لك الملك لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك ان الحمد والنعمه لك الملك 